Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. And today I am parked outside at home because at home is usually one of the first of the home decor stores to get their spooky season stuff in. So I'm hoping that Halloween has arrived at at home. So today is like July 10th, it's early. Halloween is not for three months, but but I'm pretty sure we're gonna find some stuff in here. So let's go Halloween hunting. Yes, yes, I love spooky season. Yes, let's do it. At home, let's go see what they got. Yep, I came to the right place. I have come to the right place, my friends. Right away. Oh, Bluey's a vampire. He's so cute. I will say I love that Halloween is so popular that I'm not the only one that gets excited in July that there's stores doing this right now. Oh, this is great. Come on, let's see what else I got. They have zero. Oh my goodness, look at this. He's so precious. Oh my gosh, we could fly a zero. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Is the Nightmare Before Christmas really 30 years old? Y'all, what is time? How does time? I don't, I don't understand. Time, time is this mystical thing. I don't think it really exists. We also have these double tiered Jack Skellington style pumpkins. And it says this lights up. So let's see, does it have a button? Button, button. Oh, the button's down there. And I also have a single tier pumpkin of Jack Skellington that also lights up. Let's see if we can light this guy. No, he doesn't have batteries, but that's okay. And if you need a pint sized one, they even have the mini sized ones. This would be great on my desk. Look at that. And he too lights up. We also have these bottles. We have Jack Skellington on this one and it has the little skull stopper. And there's a matching Sally one, and it says, try me. Oh, but it doesn't actually, oh, there we go. There we go. It's a light up bottle. I have a few doormats here. This one is ghosties, but it's like, like this, this pattern like this, because if we turn this the other way, it says boo. It's like magic. That is like Haunted Mansion level trickery right there. I love it. There's also this one, which is like trick or treat. And this one says, welcome to our coven. This one is all just like spooky eyes. They're all looking at you. It always feels like somebody's watching me. They also have a whole bunch of lawn signs. So they have like this thankful scarecrow and these pumpkins. Oh, not the little witch boots with a happy Halloween or just Halloween rather. Ooh, ooh, look at this Frankenstein. Look at the detail. I like this Frankenstein. This is great. It's 13 bucks. And he's like a sturdy wood. I like this. They also have this guy driving um, a skeleton horse with his jack-o'-lanterns. And then what's this? This is like a wreath in the shape of a black cat made out of black flowers. A little acorn nose. This is pretty cute. We have the beginning of our skeleton. So we have this like yellow, possibly glow in the dark. Yes, confirmed glow in the dark skeleton. It's like a little, a little squirrel guy and, and then a little octoskeleton. Look at that. Does he light up too? No, that's just screws. No, he doesn't. I thought maybe his eyes glued, but they don't. I'm sensing a theme this year with the Frankenstein and I am not at all upset by this. This is great. Oh, he's got the little screws in his head and I like how he's metallic up here. I like this pumpkin. And they have more classic jack-o'-lanterns as well. 
Oh, he looks very concerned. It's a very concerned jack-o'-lantern. They have all these different skull bottles with the, with the stoppers in all different colors. These are wonderful looking. Ooh, they even have like this iridescent, kind of changes color a little bit. I like it. Look at this great hook for hanging a wreath. It's got a back on it. Look at this. This is very sturdy also. This is a good solid metal. Not bad for 10 bucks. They have these spooky dice set. Where all the, the dots are skulls. Because everything around here is spooky. Spooky, spooky. And I have these little, little coffins here that open. They are taped shut though. These little dark gothic flowers. And this like ghosty reaper guy, he's good and creepy here. He's got that flowing cloak on him, and the little hands. Got some skulls. Oh yeah, this is this is good advice. This is very good advice. Now I have found like the elegant, Victorian, glittery, pretty kind of goth stuff. Starting with these gorgeous skulls with the pearls and the twinkles. Ooh, I like it. Velvet covered pumpkins with the sequins and beads. And we have some dapper kind of like elegant haunted mansion Victorian type figures here. We got this guy in his little top hat. Ooh, this is good and creepy. That's very creepy, actually. I like the, the way it goes across the face. Gives it like this really otherworldly dimension. I like it. We have this candlestick. This is one of those, like, it looks really good, but I bet if, like, you dry brush some silver or gold on it, it would look even better. But not too shabby. We have some portraits here. We have a dapper man in his top hat. And this lovely Victorian lady to go with, with the, the flowers in her hair. And we have one of these skulls with, like, all the the geode kind of stuff sticking out of it, all the crystals. That's pretty cool looking, actually. This, this is this is well executed. I'm I'm a fan of this one. Oh no, we're too late. We we didn't make it in time. But the mice, they tried. They tried. They also have these giant candlesticks. So like for scale, here's my hand, right? Giant candlesticks. Next to giant skull. Hand is the size of like an eyeball on it. And this guy lights up, like his eyes light up. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, okay, lighter than anticipated. Okay, so it's like a skeleton hand that's holding the lantern. It's got a swirly base, old school lantern, little skull at the hanging point. And like I said, it's actually fairly light. We got a few different spiders that you could hang around. Like, look at this guy. I think, he, I think his eyes light up. Yeah, he has a try me button. Let's see. Oh, that one in particular doesn't. Oh, this guy does. Let's, let's flip him around. Oh, there we go. Look, his little green eyes light up. <laughs> I love silly little things like that. Like, that it's not just like white lights. It was green lights making it extra spooky. And if that wasn't enough, there's also the center display. So we have like bones given a peace sign, a skeleton teddy bear, all sorts of stuff. Oh, this guy's fun. So if you have a lawn, it could look like he's starting to like dig his way out. So they are also hopping on the gigantic skeleton bandwagon. I think Home Depot was onto something that year, but they, they got their own gigantic skeleton. I don't know how tall he is, but he is towering up there. And if the giant skeleton was too big for you, they have a little bitty skeleton. So skeletons for all sizes. Yes. Y'all, I thought I was done. I thought that was the end of it. 
And then I was just walking around to see what else was in the store. And I found a whole other aisle. <sighs> we got pumpkins with little skeletons with dangly arms on chains. This is different. This is very cute. I like this. We got this metal textured kind of jack-o'-lantern with the bat and the bell hanging off the top. I feel like this one is like somebody said, make me a ceramic vampire, but he's got to be adorable. Just like this. Oh yeah, adorable. With the little candy corn teeths. This one's cute too. It reminds me so much of Zachary Binks, so much. Except that, you know, the hat, he wouldn't really be pro-witches. He, he's more like protector of, you know, humans from the witches, but still giving me Zachary Banks vibes. Then sometimes we find things that leave us scratching our heads wondering. What is it? It's a mushroom that's looking at us. Um, I mean, yeah, it is creepy. It is creepy. I'll give you that. <laughs> and if you like figures as opposed to pumpkin shaped ceramic guys, the little vampires in figure form too. Look at that. Excellent. I found ghosties. I found ghosties and they're cute as a button. Cute as a button and they light up. Look at that. There's these ones too. Like a tower of ghosties. I like these little ones. Cute. A haunted home is a happy home. Which way candy? Happy Halloween. Some gnomes welcoming us. So you know the ceramic trees, they often have them at Christmas time. Sometimes they do them at Halloween. I found a Halloween one, mini, but a new take on it and I, it, it's, it's clever. It's clever. So it's, it's, it's smaller. But instead of just regular light bulbs, they're little jack-o'-lanterns. You can see he has a little jack-o'-lantern face. And this lights up, but it's very dim. So let me see if I can show you. See? Let's see on that one. But yeah, it's got all these little jack-o'-lanterns instead of just plain light bulbs. I thought that was clever. Anyone missing a brain? Do 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 Yep, Tin Man, right? No, yeah, Tin Man needed a heart and Scarecrow needed the brain. So we got we got two out of three of them right here. Tin Man, your heart's here. Scarecrow, your brain is here. Now we need to find some courage. Do they also have the other style that I was thinking of with the regular light bulbs? This one has a little bat cat at the top. It looks like a cat body, kinda, but it's a bat. And this one with a jack-o'-lantern. So these are the ones I was thinking of originally, but they have the, the classic light bulbs in them. So our mission was a huge success. At Home has all of their Halloween stuff out already. I don't know, I don't wanna say all, but it has a lot. It has a lot of Halloween stuff. They had some really great things. They had the inflatable lawn guys that you could put outside. They had lots of stuff for inside. They had pumpkins and vampires and bats and ghosts and Victorian and Nightmare Before Christmas. And it's the 30th anniversary of the Nightmare Before Christmas, according to that tag. Like, what is time? I don't know. But I, I was so excited. I had so much fun looking at all of the great stuff they had here at At Home. I, I love it. I don't get to go to At Home very often because this is a bit of a drive for me to get here, but it was totally worth coming out here for this. So Halloween is on. We are in it. It is the beginning of July and we are good to go. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween in July. Happy spooky season, everybody. So with that, I am done for the day and I will see you all real soon. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care. <laughs>